You know, we spend so much time and energy securing human accounts, passwords, multi-factor authentication, you name it. But what if the biggest threat we're facing isn't human at all? We're about to dive into this massive, invisible workforce that's powering our modern world and find out why it just might be the single biggest hole in cybersecurity today. So this entire story really kicks off not in some high-tech boardroom, but with a personal crisis. Itzik Alvis, a total cybersecurity veteran from Microsoft in an Israeli intelligence unit, found his own company breached. And not just once, he got hit three different times, and every single time the culprit was the exact same hidden vulnerability. Okay, so that's the term he used, right? Non-human identity. We're hearing it more and more, but what does it actually mean? It's the key to Isaac's story, and honestly, it's the core of this whole problem we're exploring. So let's pull back the curtain and really define what we're talking about. And look, Itzik's story is so important because it gets at a fundamental issue that affects pretty much everyone. When a security expert gets breached over and over again by the same thing, you know they've stumbled onto something huge, a massive blind spot in the way we all think about security. Now here's what's really wild about this. The breaches weren't these super sophisticated, forceful break-ins. Nobody was kicking down the digital door. The attackers simply found keys, these digital credentials, that were just left lying around, totally forgotten, with no one watching over them. They didn't have to break in. They just picked up a key and walked right through the front door. That personal story? That's just a tiny glimpse of a much bigger global issue. So now, let's zoom out from Itzik's experience and see how a few of these misplaced keys are actually part of a vast, invisible workforce that is humming along inside every single modern company. All right, so a non-human identity, or NHI for short, is basically the ID card an application uses to prove who it is when it talks to another system. Think of it like a username for your software. And that password? Well, in this world, it's called a secret. It's the key that unlocks the door for that application to do its job. And this is where the scale of the problem just becomes, well, mind-boggling. For every single human employee inside a typical company, there are 144 of these non-human identities. Seriously, let that number sink in. The machine workforce outnumbers the human workforce 144 to 1. It's staggering. This quote just perfectly captures the modern attack strategy. I mean, with that many credentials and keys floating around, why would you bother with a complex, noisy hack? It is so much easier for an attacker to find one of these orphan secrets and just log in. They look like a totally legitimate user. It's exactly like finding a key on the sidewalk and just letting yourself into the building. The big danger here is something called secret sprawl. Think about it. Developers are trying to build and ship code fast, right? So they create these keys and sometimes they just paste them into config files or even drop them in Slack messages to share with a teammate. The security teams, they have absolutely no idea these things even exist. And here's the crazy part. These machine identities often have way more power than a human employee, like the ability to access all your customer data or even delete an entire database. And this isn't just a theory. One supply chain attack exposed over 2 million of these secrets from 26,000 different code repositories. That's like handing over the master keys to thousands of companies all at once. Okay, so just as we're starting to wrap our heads around this problem of secret sprawl, a brand new, way more powerful force is jumping into the game. We're talking about artificial intelligence, and it's not just another tool. It's a massive amplifier for this whole non-human identity threat. This quote from Itzik just nails it. AI agents really are non-human identities on steroids. If you think of a traditional NHI as, say, a simple tool that's programmed to do one very specific thing, an AI agent is a dynamic, autonomous entity. It can think for itself, it can adapt, it can decide on its own to go access new data, create new files, even talk to other systems. That makes it infinitely more powerful and way more unpredictable. Let's just break this down. A traditional NHI, right? It's programmed to do a specific job and it has fixed permissions. Pretty straightforward. But then you've got AI agents. They're autonomous, they're adaptive, and to do their job, they need really broad access to all sorts of data. Now, the oversight for traditional NHIs is often pretty poor to begin with, but for AI agents, it's frequently non-existent because employees are just creating them on their own and the security team doesn't even know they're there. And here is the real kicker. You'd probably think these super powerful AI agents are running on secure cloud servers locked down tight. Nope. The data shows that over 70% of them are actually local endpoint agents. What does that mean? It means your employees are downloading and running them directly on their laptops. 
This creates a gigantic blind spot that your traditional security tools just can't see into. So, we've established the problem is huge. It's complex and it's growing at an insane speed. How in the world do you even begin to tame these digital ghosts? Well, the good news is there's a structured approach. It's a whole life cycle framework designed to bring visibility and control back to all this chaos. It all starts with a full inventory because it's simple. You can't protect what you can't see. From there, you classify everything so you know what it is and what it does. Then you get into posture management, finding and fixing things like giving a service way too much permission. Step four is detecting any abnormal behavior. Step five is having an automated response to fix those issues immediately. And finally, you have to securely end the life cycle, get rid of the keys and identities that aren't needed anymore. It's a logical flow from birth to death for every single one of these digital identities. You know, this whole problem with non-human identities, it really shines a spotlight on a much bigger, more strategic debate that's happening in the cybersecurity world right now. It forces all of us to ask a really fundamental question. What's the right way to actually build our defenses? So on one side, you have the best of suite approach. This is your one big platform that tries to do everything. It might cover, say, 80% of your needs reasonably well. On the other side, you've got best of breed. This is all about using specialized, best-in-class tools for each critical job. The argument for the suite is simplicity. But the argument for best of breed is that cybersecurity isn't an average game. Getting 80% is like getting a B-, and that 20% gap is exactly where the breaches happen. The thinking here is that you need an a in every subject to be truly secure. So when you boil it all down, what's the big takeaway here? It's that we've built our entire modern digital world on a foundation of millions and millions of these invisible workers. And until we make that hidden infrastructure visible, until we can actually see it, we can never ever truly secure it. And really, that brings us to the final question. This isn't just about giant corporations, it's about all the services and apps that we use every single day. So just think about it for a second. How many invisible agents, keys, and secrets are running your world right now completely unseen?